Okay, it's the morning. It's about 6.30. I'm going to go outside and just see what it's like. It's, um, it's supposed to be a little bit rough, I think, wind-wise. So, just going to go out and look at it. Maybe get halfway out and even turn around. Gorgeous morning here, though. So we'll see. Better get on my life vest. It wasn't really in my plan to make a solo trip outside, but with running the boat to Owako to meet Kara there, and with plenty of time on my hands, why not give it a try? Even though a small craft advisory was in place, the river and ocean seemed very settled all the way out. right now and I was getting tired of the boom just swinging back and forth so here's my solution seems to be working all right and pretty easy to get to to take off when I actually raise the sail With conditions like this, there was no way to pass up a little fishing. Yeah, it's quite a ways further out now. I'm in 104 feet of water. I'm probably pretty close to green buoy number one. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, but it's still super nice out here. So, we will see how it builds through the afternoon or morning. I'm fishing for now. I think if, the, if it starts to really build and start white capping, I'll probably lift the main and just sail um, straight out. And then um, at some point turn around and sail back. I'm not crazy about the idea of, even though it's a slow exchange about crossing right in the middle of the ebb, so I'll probably try and hunker down out here as long as I can if the wind gets really um, strong and the waves start to build. So um, I've got a double reef in the main and um, so if I lift that sail it's, it's pretty small and it might be really manageable. So this is a complete learning experience for me out here today. Um, so it's uh, kind of exciting. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Even though I'm not sailing right now, sail on. Or perhaps I should say, until next time, fish on. Although fish on, I guess, means something else. <laughs> no fish on yet. We're trying. All right, that's it for now. Adios. Okay, so it's uh, 11.04. I gave up on fishing. I did catch one small fish. I released a coho and also had a fish that got off right at the boat and then probably would have released it as well. It was small. Um, wind is still manageable and come from the north, northwest. I'm gonna, just, I put up my sails and so I'm just gonna sail for a while and see how this goes. Um, we are heading um, kind of southeast, kind of shooting directly towards Seaside. Not sure it's the smartest thing to do, because um, as the wind builds, that would be a challenge to beat back up into it. But I just want to see how this boat handles, see what kind of speeds we're going to get out of this. And um, 
just kind of pay attention to what's going on out here. But right now we're going 4.9 knots on a kind of a broad reach, a quarter, and um, double reef main, and we're going 5.5, 5, 5.5 knots. So if I had the full main up, we'd probably be flying. Now the five knots is bad. There's a ship heading out and one coming in right now. All I can say is if Carrie ever watches this video, if, she, if you ever see this footage, I have to apologize for, um, for the music. <laughs> That's funny. I will never listen to Dave Matthews and not think about you ever again. <laughs> okay, it's 1127 and I'm uh, still kind of heading towards Seaside. I'm 13 nautical miles from Seaside. The wind's starting to kind of build. I'm starting to see a little bit of white capping. So I'm going to turn and start heading towards the Columbia. I'm probably going to take two hours to get there. So this will be the time to do it. So, and that should be about right with the tide. So, but totally awesome sailing out here. Super glad I came out. And, um, yeah, fun. Okay, it's 11.31, I made my turn into the wind. We're now going about 4.2 knots upwind. I think I'll have to make a tack, because I'll probably hit the inside of the jetty if I was to go this route. So we'll have to do at least one tack. I'll probably just sail this way for quite a while, and then uh, do one big, big tack. So, make some time here going on this route. Boat's handling really well with that double reef in. Feels really super manageable. So, and we're pointing pretty well. Pretty well into the wind. Seventeen the winds come up for sure, beating into it. I'm on an outward tack trying to get around so I can get uh, around the south jetty. Going about five knots, 4.8. Dodging um, crab pots. Make it to the red buoy line because it looks like if I get to the red buoy line I can tack and then make a straight run back in but we're still I don't know probably two nautical miles from that red buoy that's puts me about half an hour to get there but 
it feels pretty comfortable. I don't know, a little bit of water coming across, you know, spray. So not a huge deal. And um, the boat feels good. So we got to keep going uh, out to that red can, I guess, and make the turn out there. and I've made it west a little ways. I think I have the clearance now, but there's a commercial fishing boat coming in. So I'm going to wait until like, they clear me, and then I'm going to make my turn and try and get into the channel. No reason to turn now and end up, you know, kind of head on with them. But we're just about at the red line. I think we'll turn here and we'll be a straight, should be a straight shot in, I think. on my course, wait for them to go past and I'll come back down stream. I gotta come into the wind anyway to lower my main. With the main sail down, there was nothing left except to motor up the long and narrow channel to Owaco. This turned out to be a truly special day, a perfect day of sailing, a day that, well, instead of trying to sum it all up with poetic words, I'd rather just say, sail on.